Hello! In this video I'll try to make a quick review of another NJ laser engraver. This time NJ Master 2 Plus version. Why quick review? Because the machine is almost identical to a Master 2 version. So I just show some differences and show how to install software, because I still got lot of questions about it. As usual start with unboxing. I received that box from European Warehouse, direct from Neji store. As every packet I got from Neji also that one is packed extremely well. And in the box you can find just everything we need to start using the machine, each part on its own place in the sponge. Here we got short manual in 10 different languages, but once again we got many informations about machines, laser models and everything on NJ wiki site, which is really useful and always updated. Then we got here 12 volts 3 amp power supply, 30 watt laser model in my case, because 40 watt is so hot it's always out of stock in European warehouse. All the NJ laser models are tested, so they work with full power for a period of time. But smell from the back tell me that that one was tested on the wood, for sure. Then we got here red protective glasses. Accessory bag where we find 5 pieces of testing paper, 1 piece of testing wood and anodized aluminium, green focusing plate, USB cable, tools, nuts for assembling, zip ties, marker, brush, and angles to fix the machine on surface. And of course complete pre-assembled X and Y axis, so assembling of machine will only take us minute or two. I won't make a close look part, because machine is almost identical to Neji Master 2. Simply design which work great. On rear leg we got motherboard with limit switch, on Y carriage we got Y motor and X limit switch with connector for a laser model. On X axis we just got stepper motor with laser model carriage. I will compare them later with NJ Master 2, but firstly assemble the machine. Ok, now take the Y axis and make sure that the motherboard is from back side. Then take X axis, but before mount it on the screws, plug the laser cable. It's a bit tricky, but you can put cable out of groove to plug it easier. Then attach X axis base plate to the screws and tighten it with 4 nuts. Now install the laser model. Also here we will plug the cable much easier before we mount model on the carriage. Then just slide the laser into clamp and gently tight side screw. And the last thing we need to do is to plug cable to X stepper motor. Now prepare the PC and plug the power supply to a laser and USB cable between the machine and PC. I will show again how to use different softwares for complete beginners. Firstly open the browser and open NJ wiki site. On left side we choose machine you want to use, in my case NJ Master 2 Plus. And here we got a bunch of information about settings, how to use different softwares and so on. Firstly download the driver and install them, then download the last version of NJ software. When we open the software which is bootable so we don't need to install them, machine instantly going to home position. And software already know which type of machine we are using, here we also see the firmware version and laser model temperature. Machine is now ready to use. More about how to use NJ software I already tell in other NJ videos. This time just try to make some CNC cut. So I go to online G code tab and choose one of G code. Set size and then prepare the material. In my case testing paper set focus with using green focusing plate and then set laser power to 100% and cutting speed to about 5 milliseconds, which should be enough to cut thick paper. When we set up and prepare everything, click start. I just tell you once again to use protective glasses while work with the laser. Reflective light of a laser can seriously damage our eyes. To 
on grey photons, same piece of thick paper, I set 25% laser power and 3 milliseconds burning time. With that settings photo is nicely engraved and didn't burn through the paper. I get lot of questions about which settings to use for this and that material, but like I always say, best way to get right settings is to make tests on small pieces before we start real job. Let's try now with Lightburn software. You can download from official Lightburn website, free trial version or buy license. But when I open them it won't connect with the Neji machine. So I go to Neji wiki and download Neji firmware uploader. Open them and click connect. It instantly recognized machine type and offer us three different firmwares to upload. That firmware only make changes on GRBL microcontroller. So Neji software will work anytime because Neji software communicate with other 8-bit microcontroller on motherboard. I choose first firmware and click on them and the uploader will do what it need to do. After upload is done, close the uploader and open Lightburn again. It still doesn't connect because we need to change some settings. So into Lightburn click edit tab and device settings. We have here few important settings. First one is bound rate which must be matched with uploaded firmware. So 115,200 bit per second. I try with 2 mil million version but communicate lost a few times so I prefer first one. After reset, click OK, close Lightburn and open it again. Lightburn is now connected with the machine, but Y axis work reverse. So click Edit and Machine Settings. Click Read button and then double click to invert Y direction pin invert and Y homing direction invert, so the machine work proper. And don't forget to click Write button. Now again, go to Edit, Device Settings and set S max value to 1000 so the laser work with full power. And then change working area to X 255mm and Y axis to 420mm. And that's it, this is all important settings so the Neji machine is 100% compatible with light burn. Then we can play with speed and acceleration into machine settings to save bunch of time. But if we set that values too high, the machine can start losing steps and the engrave won't be nice. Just for test I draw some square and try to cut out of 5mm plywood. I already say I won't test the laser model in this video. If you want to see what 30W laser can do, check my NJ Max video or NJ 40W laser model to see what 40W model can do. There are many other GRBL softwares which can be used with Neji machines, but I only show you how to use phone app if you don't want to use a PC. Easiest way is to scan the code from Realac to get link to Neji plus wiki site. Don't search from the app into Google Store, cause you won't find them. Scroll down and download the Android or iOS application. Then go to File Commander and find downloaded file. Click on them to install it. I also need to turn off safety protection, so phone allow to install apps from unknown source. Application is now installed. Plug the power supply into machine and before open the app be sure to turn on Bluetooth and location, otherwise app won't find the machine. Open the app and it will automatically connect really fast. We got here a lot of settings into application, but my phone is a bit smaller so it's quite hard to set everything. But for some quick job it is just great. It offers us all the functions like PC software, from settings, size, text and so on but don't support any CNC work like DXF or NC reading. 